Hi everyone. Um, what do you think when you think of the word transcend? What comes to mind? To persevere, to have great. Um, the new Oxford American Dictionary uh, defines it to as to be to go beyond the range or limits of. My inspiration about transcendence is from America's Got Talent Act called Duo Transcend. It's a couple of Marianne Tice. Um, Marianne also actually has autism and dyslexia. I was lucky to watch them on the big stage for my 21st birthday in Vegas in October, and their act was mesmerizing. Um, they were flying through the air in their trapeze and fearless. Uh, one time on America's Got Talent, uh, twice dropped Mary, and Mary wanted to keep going, and my journey with with Miss Amazing, it was all about transcendence. I started in 2018. My friend, uh, my friend Coley, told me about this. At first I was a little hesitant, he was like, oh no, drama. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, but I was wrong. There was no drama at all. It was about confidence, self-esteem, and most importantly, transcendence. Uh, I had a great time. We met my buddy. Uh, we got along well. Um, I did my talent, which was dancing. Uh, I introduced myself and did my formal wear. It was finally time to find out the winner. The MC announces who won and it wasn't me. I was disappointed, but I knew I had to try again because I know, I always believe that success comes after failure. So I tried again in 2019. This time I did a speech about Cody Lee, who won America's Got Talent that falling that same year. Uh, I talked about how individuals with disabilities can accomplish amazing things. And it's finally for the time for the MC to announce the name for the 2020 queen, and it was me. Thank you. Uh, 2020 rolls around. Um, the nationals are canceled. Uh, Disappointing, but I knew I'd be able to go back in 2020 and 2021. I chose to do one really hard from the musical prom from a passion presentation. I introduced myself and interviewed with the judges, and it was finally time to announce the winner. The MC calls the person, and it wasn't me. I was disappointed, but I knew I had to try again the next year. The 2021 event rolls around, and I won again, and not only did I win, there was actually a documentary crew that was filming for a documentary. I got to go to National so again in December 2022. This time I did a passing presentation about poem about kindness and how to treat people with disabilities with respect. Uh, my, I introduced myself, interviewed the judge, with the judges, and it was finally time to figure out who the winner was, and it was me. Um, let's fast forward to about two weeks after the event. Um, my mom and I were actually ill with COVID. Um, we found out at a place called uh, Prosper Academy, which is a place for individuals with autism to transcend and become independent. I also got a job at Autism Action Partnership in about February 2023. In April, I was able to uh, be on a panel about autism acceptance and what autism is and what autism isn't. Um, and it felt so good to have my voice be heard with the neurodiversion community. Let's fast forward to June 2019, 2023. Uh, I haven't mentioned, I have a girlfriend for a while. Her name is Bella. She seemed really nice when I was able to I was scrolling on the internet and I found this video and I said I miss you at the beginning of the breakup. Um, I found out she had been cheating on me. I felt so empty and devastated and thankfully that the people at Prosper Academy were there to help me get through it. I missed a day of class but I was ready to keep going and transcend. I did because my... <coughs> I did it because I love being with my friends and the people at Prosper Academy. Um, it really helped. A few weeks later, I was lucky able to go, go to Universal Studios with my friend and the Gotta Be Me group, which is another disability group I'm a part of. I love riding roller coasters, sharing a lot of rafts, and that really made me feel better. But unfortunately, I found out that my roommate that I used to live with would be moving out at the 
end of the trip. I miss having someone to talk to, but I know I can finish the program. I would like to add that this weekend I found out my grandma is not doing well and she won't get better. I almost went home. Sorry. Uh, but I know my grandma would want me to finish when I transcend it's about coming back after failures and heartbreak. And um, it is important for you to succeed on my, all my worst failures to transcend.